blow by this, and the match is going to be what it's going to be. Uh, what are you expecting from a steel cage match from your new champion and, and Randy Orton? I mean, it's going to be quite interesting because now we don't know what the finish is going to be. So, I mean, Seth Rollins could almost literally beat Randy with anything. Mm -hmm. Right. So that is that does kind of add a layer to it, I guess. But in, I don't know. It's going to be so full of shenanigans with the gatekeeper and the master. Yeah. And, certainly. And, and the steel cage gives them an excellent way for uh, Seth Rollins to weasel out right, and, right. and re keep his title. Yeah. But I think the con but that's the thing that also kind of frustrates me is that the whole concept was Randy one picked the cage stipulation to keep all shenanigans out and it's like there's just as much shenanigans and there's you know it's I don't know I I, I think the I, match will be really good. I love that I love yeah. that we've dropped two shenanigans in describing this situation as well. It is shenanigans. Uh, oh, 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 LB, what do you think about the shenanigan filled uh, match coming up? Shenanigan filled match. Those are the best <laughs> kind. Uh, that's not true. Uh, steel cage <laughs> matches are very boring nowadays, and I don't expect much from this. I think if anything good comes out of this match, it's going to be because, because of Seth Rollins, and uh, somebody's going to hit an RKO out of nowhere. Uh, and even though it's inside a steel cage, there will still be interference. The, their Mania match was, in my opinion, one of my favorite matches for Mania. You know, so they have the capabilities of having a really good match. It's just that there's so much other stuff going on, and I don't know if I don't know I this, and there's certain aspects I like. I I'm kind of starting to like the Kane stuff now. Like I feel after last night, like the Kane stuff was really really good. He's starting but, to show personality. Yeah, like he, when he, like, he was like, yeah when he was like screaming at Seth Rollins like in the ring, I was like, this is really good. This is the most like passion I've seen out of Kane. You know, I really I really like the bit at the end where um he was kind of grinning a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This I have a Kane question. Okay. Do you think they dress him as uh, Sigourney Weaver? What? Because <laughs> he's the gatekeeper. Oh, no. Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> I just want to make anything, Obi laugh. I knew anything, that would get him. If anything, they're going to turn him into a giant dog. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, I think no. I broke Lunchbox. I know. Kane, Kane's going to come out uh, at the next <laughs> pay-per-view in like a big yellow exoskeleton. <laughs> <laughs> Different characters, Gordy Weaver. <laughs> it counts. <laughs> oh, my God. God, that's Gordy Weaver's music. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I had to explain the joke to somebody in the studio. Um, <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, what, what else? I don't know. What do you do chain after match. that? Who? Russian what? chain match. Russian oh, chain man, match. That would be great. Um, you know, I get excited about the idea of a Russian chain match until I realize it's just a bull rope match. Yep. With but, they, but they From, said it wasn't, though. With Siberian but, steel. No, they they have because they they the part of the promo has been I'm going to beat you up and then I'm going to touch all four corners because but, that's a decisive victory. But the week before that, Michael Cole established that it was like the um, Bruno San Martino Ivan Koloff chain match, which that's not the rules of it. It's just no. I, I think they changed their minds. Yeah, and this is what I hate about these kind of stipulations. That and this has happened more times than once. The WWE's like the stipulation's this. Oh no no no, it's actually this. Like. Fucking pick it. It's like, Vince McMahon. I don't know. Yeah, it's, I think it's, I think I think this is the, it gets I to think, the point where you can't blame everything you don't like on Vince. I, no, I don't I'm not thinking of blaming Vince. I'm blaming I'm telling Bobby. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Vince. Well no, I'm I mean really I'm I'm telling everyone. But I mean, every time something bad happens, the first thing that most people go to is, Oh, well it's Vince's it's Vince's That's true. Thing. That's you know true. what I mean? I'm sorry. He's not I mean yeah, he's he probably has the final say, but he doesn't have the only say. He, that he, he, he's real, not guys. Vince he's is not sitting there checkboxing every segment on a three hour show plus another two hours plus another two hours uh, of other shows that nobody looks at. You yeah, know, Michael Hayes. He's not doing that. He, there's there's so many cooks in the kitchen, <laughs> and and they're playing telephone with their announcers. Of course, things are going to get screwed up. Shut up, Riz. What? Shut the fuck up, Riz. <laughs> he's not wow. even Where in here. What are you talking fucking about? Mouth. See, him, see him laughing? He knows what I'm talking about. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. 
I have no Sorg, idea what's happening. Sorg said something that would make Riz do something bad. Uh, but, um, uh, Matt Collins wants to explain what makes a chain rush. Siberian steel, baby. Okay. There you go. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I was going to say, I, I was going to make a terrible joke of uh, it's rushing.